I want to explain briefly that uh, Rongo University last week declared redundancy, staff redundancies. The university council was forced to declare staff redundancy owing to inadequate funding. Our wage bill is way higher than what uh, we have coming from the government to pay. So the funds are not adequate. That is the first reason why we had have, we have to do redundancies. The second reason why we had also to do redundancies is because, uh, because of this acute funding, the university was forced to cut down on the number of departments and administrative positions. And we reduced schools, we reduced departments, we reduced ad administrative units, and this forced us to have excess staff who are not uh, being utilized because their positions have been scrapped off. And because of these two reasons, emanating from shortage of funding to the university, and that's why we ended up with a situation where we can no longer support the university payroll. And we had to cancel, had to uh, give authority to declare redundancy to, to sustain the university. And these challenges have come as a, as a consequence of inadequate funding coming from the government, the collapse of the original uh, privately sponsored student program that we were getting extra money to help us fund the university, and also the, the collective bargain agreements of 2017-2021, which increased university salaries, staff salaries, but did not have adequate funds to contain the overall agreed CBAs. For example, the universities were not given money to pay new salaries. New salaries that were agreed on, the government did not give us funds to continue paying the same level of salary from 2022. And that is the reason why we now found ourselves in a situation where we can no longer support the overall payroll. And even as we were doing uh, 